Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a lip sync animation. This will be the first part of two, uh, but we're going to do a lip sync animation in Adobe Animate. Uh, I've got this reference image from the internet. Um, all I did was I went on Google, mouth shapes for animation, and I found this one. I think I used this one before in the uh, Blender tutorial. But anyways, I just downloaded it and imported it into uh, my scene. And it's just an image. Here it is. It's just an image uh, JPEG. I just placed it in the center. Uh, and I'm going to use it as a reference to draw my own uh, shapes. So I am going to lock this layer. And then I'm going to tone it down. I'm going to decrease the opacity so that I can barely see it, maybe to about 14-15%. Uh, create a new layer. This will be my uh, my mouth shapes. And then I can start drawing right on layer 7. And so I'm going to zoom in. Uh, I am going to grab a brush and uh, grab a size. Uh, in this case, it's 15. And I'm okay with this, 15 pixels. Uh, it's about the size of that. Uh, I am going to grab a um, black. And I'm just going to start tracing. It. Simple as that. Um, not a big deal. And trace this. Like I said, it's not a big deal. The teeth. Maybe I could do that a little bit better. And then the mouth, uh, um, the, the tongue. All I'm going to do is this and this. Uh, and then I can get the paint bucket tool, paint this, uh, grab a red, and then paint the tongue. That's it. That's our first shape. That's uh, It's as easy as that. Uh, I am going to continue with this one. Uh, grab the uh, inverse these. Grab the uh, black. It doesn't have to be perfect. It does not have to be perfect. And then grab the paint bucket, fill that in. That's our second one. Uh, let's do this third one. And then I am, I think I'm gonna speed up the video. This is the third one. There we go. Paint bucket tool, inside of the mouth, tongue, and that's it. Hey guys, I am going to speed up the video. These are going pretty quick, uh, and then I'll see you on the other side. Cool. We've got all the mouth shapes uh, done. I can hide this shape. Uh, I'm sorry. I can hide this layer now. And now we can convert these into symbols. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one. And well, you know what? I, I do need that other one so that I can see. This is the A. F8. Uh, convert to symbol. We're going to do a graphic and this will be A. Say okay and in our library there it is there's our our mouth shape uh, this one will be our O let's uh, check that's our O and E so this is our O F8 convert to symbol 
and we'll call this O. Well, capital O, shift O. There it is, O. Select this one. It's under modify, convert to symbol. And this one will be E. We'll leave it as a graphic. Boom, there it is. This one is W, W R. We'll just go F8. We'll do W R. Okay. This one is T S. You know what? I could just leave that on. Uh, so that I can see the letters. F8, TS, okay. Next one, F8, this is L, LN. Select this one, F8, this was UQ. Select this one, F8. This is M, B, P. Select this one, F8, F, V, and we're done. Uh, we can actually delete them from here. Delete, and then hide this mouse layer and now we can um, go ahead and bring in our uh, characters, which I've already done. I, I brought in uh, the character. And notice that when I bring out this mouse shape, it's going to be way bigger than this. So I can always um, zoom in, size it down. We can size it down and place it in there we can start lip syncing to the sound. In the next video, we'll bring in the audio and we'll start uh, lip syncing. Um, so if you like the video guys, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.